and assalamu alaikum to everyone who is who is watching my name is nashtali hug and i'm from class 6k bacon house pchs campus i'm here today to clear the concept of my fellow students for the chapter that we are learning which is in our course of acids and alkalis so what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to be experimenting two types of litmus paper red and blue into different kind of substances and we and we'll be seeing together that what kind of magic happens and what is the scientific reason behind it so we are all aware of acids and alkalis but the the thing we are most aware of about them is they are hazardous but have you ever wondered that acids and alkalis are not always harmful for example if we talk about has, acids we eat acids almost every day in our food like biryani like lemon is an acid but the acid now you'll be thinking that we eat acids we are going to die one day but that that is not the correct explanation lemon actually includes citric acid which is not that harmful to us it's like a very weak acid which cannot harm us and uh, alkali we we do use it in everyday life like for example toothpaste we use we do we do brush our teeth every day right so now as i told you our daily life examples of acids and alkalis let's continue our experiment or we can say magic now here i'm going to show you we have litmus paper blue and red the reason of this that i'm keeping this in a ziploc bag is that if we keep it outside um for the experiment that we are using it won't work next i have alkali acid and water in three different beakers as you can see here and i used uh, as i told acid and alkalis are in our our usual like home supplies and we do use them every day in our everyday lives so as acid i used lemon and as alkali i used detergent also in simple language let me say it's soap water and water we can actually drink it now here i'm going to be uh, here i have this blue litmus and red litmus at the last of this experiment in the end in the total end when we are done with the experiment i'm going to keep these three strips according according uh, like according to their like alkali acid and according to their substances and then we'll see the color changing and i'll also write it over here for you for you guys okay so let's start the magic i can't wait for it okay so first of all we're going to start with red litmus paper or let's just start with blue so here i have three blue strips already cut out or cleared out we're going to just keeping it over here okay first of all i'm going to be dipping this into alkali there you can see it turns blue it means it remains blue at is as it was on as it was litmus paper blue it remained blue so this means that blue litmus paper remains blue when dipped in alkali now we're going to be trying it in acid now this is red so we're going to be putting it right here now we saw that acid in alkali it remained blue and in acid it turned red now let's see what happens in water it is a very very light purple as you can see now we're going to be keeping it experiment with blue litmus paper is finished and we could see the results right here now we're going to be starting off with red litmus paper i'm going to tear one out okay now first of all we're going to be putting it an alkali and remember this is a red litmus paper it turned blue now the the red litmus paper in acid 
it remains same. And now, lastly, in water. This turns a little light purple that you can't even see it. Right now, I have to like zoom in and see it. Okay, so now we're going to be writing the results on this board. And as you can see here, we have all our results. Let's just continue by writing them. Now, blue litmus, uh, blue litmus and acid is pink. Actually, it is red. Now, in alkali, it remains blue. So, we're going to be writing it remains blue. And look, in water, it turned a light purple. So we're just going to be writing purple here. Now, for the red litmus, for the red litmus paper, we're going to be seeing that in acid, it turn it it remains pink. So we're just going to be writing remain remain red. Now in alkali, it was blue. And in water, it was light purple. So now, hopefully, um, you're cleared with this concept of red litmus paper and blue litmus paper, dry, drying inside different kind of substances, what kind of color they get, and yeah, that was my mission and that's completed. So, bye!